Wushu is a water buffalo, a healthy bull that weighs well over 300 kilograms, but rather shy and scared of an average human being that weighs a fourth of her weight. Wushu's ancestors had been domesticated by humans for thousands of years throughout the agricultural revolution. Today, new and advanced technology for farming has made a huge impact on Wushu's family and their entire generations down the line. The villagers do not look after them anymore. Luckily, there aren't any natural predators in this particular island. They roam free all day long, munching on grass and leaves. So this is a young buffalo, a very shy animals. In the wild, if they attack, I would be dead right now. If, if, if she even tries to attack me, I'll be dead. But these, they are uh, relatively well-behaved animals, okay? Especially here because uh, it's in this reserved area and they're very friendly. Um, big horns, you know, about 20, 22 inches long. This one right here, I'm looking at. And the closer I get, the further away it goes, okay? Uh, it's going into the, the woods. And I have to be very careful at the same time because um, her... Let me check what's here. This is a male, I believe. So his, his mother is on the other side, so I have to be careful. And um, if anything happens, all of a sudden, I'm, I will be uh, running up to this tree and I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to be climbing up the tree in split second, okay? So that's the plan for now. And then, okay, bye. Peace. Eager to know more about the buffaloes and its habitat, we will ask a local of Puiwo village a few questions. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, hi there. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andy. Andy, yeah. Uh, um, so what, how many buffaloes do you think there are in uh, Puiwo? In Puyo, uh, in the old days, there are so many. They are crossing the road like uh, about 30 to 40 buffaloes. Whoa. But now uh, the government uh, do something to relocate them. Mm -hmm. I think um, more or less uh, 50 or 60 water buffaloes. So this, for example, 50 or 60 of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Wow. So let me, let's just zoom closer to this buffalo right here. 50 to 60 in this area, right? Yeah, you can, on the summertime, you can also see them at the beach area or the river. They're, river. They're swimming there. Uh -huh. And I think um, until now, they're making some more babies. And where do they sleep? Oh, uh, they sleep under underneath the trees. Oh, yeah. so that's what she's probably going to. Yeah, see. yeah. Thank you so much for your information. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, he likes yeah. to sit on my shoes, and I'm I'm scared he might poo. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some information about this area now. This is Pui Wo Village. This village right here, there are barking a uh, barking dog, a deer. Sorry, barking deer. They have that name because they sound like dogs, so barking. And uh, it's up there. Okay, it's just up there. And this morning, I believe I heard some barking deer as well, but it's, I have no, you know, no nothing to show for it. So I just heard something. And then, yeah, so barking deer here. This is the area where, you know, the buffaloes like to hang out during the daytime. And the nighttime, they just go out there to, to sleep. So I'll, I'll show you now. Uh, this is where they are. So this is where they're currently at. I will be getting up close with Bushu and his family to learn more and understand about their behaviors. Right next to me, you can see three, a family of three buffaloes, the young and parents. I'm, I'm very close to them at the moment and there's not a sound, not a twitch at all, okay? So, which means they see me um, as a friendly encounter and see how they react, okay? So I've never done this before. I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm gonna climb up a tree. Uh, I'm gonna step backwards like so. I mean no harm, okay? And uh, I'll just, so I'll just 
use this uh, friendly, friendly, non-harming, non-threatening gesture. And just go back, so like so. And what I'll do right here is I'll, I'll climb on a tree. Yeah, so I am up at the moment. I am climbing a tree. I am pretty high up at the moment. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'm doing knees. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's just a video. I'm only shooting a video. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. I hope you understand. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll just get, grab my camera and I'm gone. Okay. Let's get, I'll just grab my camera and I'm gone. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry. Let's grab my camera and I'm gone. Okay, I'm sorry. So that that's that that happened. I did it. Yo. As the scene seemed to them as a threat, Wushu is protected by Wushu and Mushu from two directions. The water buffaloes communicate using body languages. And that was Wushu telling Bushu to get behind him. The young Bushu is now heading to its safety area. Meanwhile, Wushu and Mushu is ready to sacrifice their lives to defend the young buffalo. Just went down on his knees, which means he's relaxed, and so am I. Don't forget the like button, comment down below, and subscribe.